Hello everyone, this is Ross with Market Traders Daily and this is today's video analysis for November 26, 2019. Today, we're looking at the AUDUSD, the Australian versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. Long term here, I've zoomed way out here on the daily time frame so we can see some longer history, a little bit more than a year going back into October, November of 2018. We can see the long term trend, black trend line, Downtrend line, we see the two moving averages, blue and green, 200 period moving average blue, 100 period moving average green, all indicating a bearish or downtrend. Uh, we see these periods within the trend where the market went up, these red lines back in history where the market went up and challenged that black trend line and eventually turned and made a new low. Recently, we have seen, and I've color it, colored it a little bit differently, the blue trend line down here showing that rally rise back to the black trend line and once again a turn lower back down towards uh, the 6780 6770 level uh, but again the pattern of the long-term downtrend continues to persist and play out so the question is will we see a new low will we see the australian dollar continue to pressure lower and get a new low within the overall long-term downtrend the black trend line the other side of it is will we ever see Reversal, will we see this turn back higher? Will we see the black trend line broken and a new uptrend start at some point into the future? That's something that we want to watch and be aware of that that could happen. But anyway, currently the market is pushing lower in the direction of the downtrend. Let's go ahead and zoom it in a couple of times. You can see there's the blue trend line where it rallied back to the black trend line. And recently, the most recent weeks have been falling along the red trend line. Past couple of weeks, we've been stuck inside this blue box. Resistance at the orange zone, 68, 30, 40. Uh, green zone, somewhat of a middle point, some resistance, some support right around 68, 0.68, 10. And then the pink zone down here, I changed it up a little bit from yesterday, 0 0.67, 80, 70 is that pink zone. That's where we're currently finding support, and we have been for the past couple of weeks. Uh, I put the two black circles back here just to show that if the market gets under the pink zone, there's a good chance it's going to the blue zone, which is 67, 50, 40 on the way down. I just put those there to show you that if it gets underneath there, that's where we're going, or the yellow zone if it continues to pressure lower as well. So here we are at the pink zone trying to decide, is it going to break the pink zone and go lower in the direction of the trend, or is it going to bounce right back up and go back up again? Uh, obviously, typically if we're going to sell something, uh, we don't want to sell it into support. We don't want to sell on top of support. That doesn't make sense. So right now it's a difficult place to go short and sell into 67, 80, 70. Uh, I don't think selling right now makes a whole lot of sense. If I was going to go short, I probably would want to see it closer to the green zone, 0 0.68, or underneath that pink zone. So if we're going to be sellers short on the Australian dollar, that's what we need. We need to be back at resistance or under support. So selling really right now is not really part of my scenario for the day today on the Australian dollar. Should we buy it? I think that's a little difficult too because there's no evidence of significant buying pressure, no sudden infusion of buy orders. That's what we're typically looking for, that sudden infusion of buying pressure. You know, that's recognized as candlesticks as a couple of th different things. A hammer candlestick, a bullish engulfing candle. You know, those are the types of things, higher highs, higher lows, that we're looking for to indicate bullish pressure. Don't really have any of that right now. So selling's difficult on top of that pink zone. Buying's difficult. We don't have any indication of buying pressure. So I think we have to be a little bit patient. One thing we could be watching for is the breakout underneath that pink zone. By the way, uh, taking Fibonacci me measurements from the bottom to the top of the blue line, the blue trend line on the left, Fibonacci bottom to top, puts the 0 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level at 0 0.6769, which is the bottom of our pink zone. So there it is. You can see it on the far right. Let me just kind of throw a circle over there real quick so you can see right there, 0 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. 67, we'll just call it 70, 0 0.6770, the bottom of the pink shaded area of the blue trend line. So again, that's telling us two things. That support into the bottom of the pink zone. There's potential for reversal. So we want to watch for clues and evidence of that. But also we know that a breakdown of that is likely to see the Australian dollar continue in the direction of the trend. 
Uh, take it down here to the four hour time frame. You see the struggle that the Aussie dollar's having there into the pink shaded area. It's been bouncing around in there for the past day or so. Again, we're watching for significant clues of reversal, evidence of reversal. Last time we were here, see that little black circle? Last time we were here, we bounced off and went back up. So we need to know that's a possibility. Uh, I don't think I have enough evidence right now to take a long here on the Aussie dollar. But if you're going to do it, uh, stop loss would be under the group pink zone. That way, you at least minimize the impact if you decide to take a long on the Australian dollar. I need more information before I start buying the Australian dollar today. But right now, uh, challenging here. I think the next thing I look for is the market to break down underneath that pink shaded area. If it gets underneath the 618 fib, the 6770 level, the pink shaded area, I think that gives us our opportunity to go short on the Australian dollar today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.